What's up everyone, Darkblade returning with my charting the maps in Uncharted 3. Today we are going to be looking at the high rise returning from Uncharted 2. Now both teams start in opposite corners of this relatively large map. The villains will be spawning in the building that's kind of like a warehouse building, whilst the heroes will be spawning in the building that contains the water tower. High Rise contains four power weapons, the first being RPG, which is in the centre of the map on the scaffolding connecting the building that's under construction to the hotel building. Both teams will try to get this early in the match. Now up on the water tower you'll find a SAS-12. This is not the best weapon for this level, but if used indoors, inside the buildings, it's still quite good. There is a pistol above the rocket launcher spawn point as well, and again this should be used inside rather than outside. There is a T-Bolt sniper rifle for those of us who do like to fight outside in the open or on top of the rooftops as this is the weapon that is probably best at these ranges. Now High Rise is a large level, maybe not in terms of area but the fact that it has so many layers, there are so many floors on High Rise to fight at. High Rise can be divided pretty much into four buildings, the first building being the water tower building as I call it. This comprises of two floors, a underneath the roof area and on top of the roof area. Both forms of combat are viable on this building. If you like close range combat, preferably stay underneath the roof and if you prefer the medium to long range, stay on top. Getting on top of the water tower that is on this building is also great leverage and increases your elevation but unfortunately offers no cover. The main disadvantage about this building is that it is lower than the other buildings and can be sniped at easily from the surrounding buildings that have a much higher elevation. Now a hop skip and a jump away and you'll find yourself on the lowest floor of the hotel building. This is the largest structure out of the four buildings there are on this level. It's also one of the safest areas if you do enjoy close range combat over long and medium ranged. The various floors of the hotel as well can be used to access all three buildings really easy. Just be aware that there are jumps normally involved, so watch your footing and don't fall to your death. Now the building that the villains spawn in offers various rooms that are quite tight and cramped, perfect for people who like to blind fire or melee, but they do branch out onto various balconies. These balconies can of course be prime spots for snipers. The top two floors of this building offer great sniping opportunities and I normally see a lot of snipers hanging around this building. Also the fact that the T-Bolt sniper rifle spawns up here is another reason why snipers favour this building over the others. Now up here you'll find one of the highest points on the map, the other being on top of the hotel building. You'll normally always find a sniper up here as it offers nice protection and gives you a good view of the battlefield. You just have to be a bit aware of your surroundings as you don't want to be shot or tacked in the back. Now the fourth and final building is the construction building. The under areas of the construction building don't offer as much cover when you're fighting in close combat as the other buildings unfortunately. The top two highest floors as well on this building are unfinished and thus are very open compared to the other buildings as well. There are numerous propane tanks as well on high rise so be wary of where you're stepping. This is the highest point of the construction building and although it does offer some sniping opportunities they pale in comparison to the other buildings. There are various walkways and jumps all over the high rise that connect the buildings together. Use these to your advantage, use them as escape routes or way to traverse the buildings quickly. If you prefer close range and melee combat compared to medium and long range, probably it's best to fight inside the buildings, like here inside the hotel building. These are the only areas that it is safe and you will have advantage over people with long weapons and medium range weapons. High Rise is one of the levels that has a lot of vertical gameplay. There are a lot of areas to climb so use these to your advantage to get the drop on snipers, people camping or even as escape routes. Here you'll find the second highest point in the map. You'll normally always find a sniper up here as well, as they cover all three of the other buildings. Unfortunately, the sniper has to move a bit more than compared with the warehouse building. Now, that's been High Rise in a nutshell. It's a level that is built 
for medium and long range combat. Although there are close range combat situations, they are not as numerous as the medium and long range ones. It's also one of the levels that you really need to be aware of your surroundings as people can always get the jump on you or sneak up behind you if you're not aware of what's going on. Anyway, I've been Darkblade bringing you my chart in the maps guide to High Rise in Uncharted 3. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more.